welcome back to my channel um thank you guys for watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and thank you so in today's video i wanted to do a updated haul well not an updated haul i wanted to do a beauty and a hair haul because some of these products i have collected over the months that prior to me being pregnant and me being pregnant and stuff like that and not being able to do any videos so i wanted to do a haul just to let you guys know what i purchased and a couple of video and a couple of things that i'm going to do videos on so that's basically what this haul is about because i want to show you the products that i bought and show you the products that will be in upcoming videos so let me go ahead and get started with the hair so i been hearing a lot of great things about this brand and i wanted to try out their gel before i try or the edge control before i tried any other product in her line and that is the milk organics flexible hold edge gel with certified organic honey and ginger so here it is right here this is a meal organics i really really do like this edge control it smells so good like oh my god it smells good i really like the smell and as you can see i have been using it it really does hold my edges together as well as i like it because I, as well as i like it because it is natural and i don't have to worry about my edges flaking up or anything so i really do like this gel i think it was like 12.89 which is a bit pricey to me because you know i love my cream of nature edge control gel that is my jam but I really wanted to try this gel. So I mean this edge control. I don't know why I keep calling it a gel. Because I don't use gels on my hair. But I really wanted to try this edge control. And I really like it. So if you guys have not tried it. I would say catch them on sale. Like the Black Friday sale. Or anything at Sally's. Check them out. Um, you will like this product. As well as another gel that I do use. But I use it on my daughter's hair. Is the Eden Body Works Control Edge Glaze. Um, this is the coconut one. I this one has a coconut smell. So if you have tried the coconut line, it has the same smell as that. I love using this on my daughter's hair because um, their hair, their edges, well, their edges are like mine. <laughs> but um, it's really good for their hair. I use like different products for the hair. Like if I want to try out a product, I try it on their hair and my hair but i usually if i like the product i use it on their hair but yeah this is their edge control like i said it's eating by the works coconut edge glaze so that's another edge control that i got now on to uh the shampoos and conditioner now i wanted to try this one out the true true line um it's the moisturizing shampoo so i did pick this up right here this line smells so good it smells like honey and coconut and mango and i love co i love mango it smells just like mango i love anything that smells like mango but yeah this is a moisturizing shampoo i have used this shampoo probably about two to three times and i really do like it so i will do a video like a detailed um review on it giving you my review on it and as well as showing you how I use the products and how I like the products while I'm using it so this will be a video that I will do for you guys so this is a moisturizing shampoo as well as the nourishing leave-in now I didn't get the conditioner because as you know I use the my swab you make the conditioner I never buy conditioners but the swab you make the conditioner because it's only 250 for a big old jar of it and that really works for my hair. My hair really likes that. So that's what I stick to when I'm talking about conditioners. But I did purchase the leave-in because I wanted to try different leave-ins in my hair. So I did purchase that. As well as I purchased the Intense, the Intense Treatment Mask. And it looks like this. I have used this probably about once or twice. So this is the mask right here. It smells so good. As well as I did purchase the hydrating hair butter. Now I've only used this one time. So I really haven't used it a lot to even give you a detailed review on it. But I will do a review for you guys. 
so you guys can see if I like it or not. It's really watery. Like if I use hair butters, I like to I like thicker products, but I'll give you a detailed review on it. Like I said, um, on the true products. And I did pick up the Shea Moisture Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Hair Mask. I have yet to use this product. I haven't used it at all. It's not even, the package is not even open. But I did pick this up because I wanted to try this mask. And that is all for the hair. Now I'm going to start with the beauty products. So everybody has been talking about lashes, you know, getting longer lashes and stuff. And I don't have long lashes so no, I don't so I picked up the Ardell natural lashes and 120 denim so I wanted to try this out you know try some lashes out and I picked up the dual glue so I'm gonna try this out and see how I like wearing lashes and if you know if it's worth it if it's worth all the fuss people talk about and I also picked up a Morphe palette cuz everybody talks about Morphe on YouTube so I wanted to pick up one of these palettes and I picked up I think the 350 palette. That's the palette that everybody was talking about. Now I wish I would have waited because this has shimmers and I'm really not a shimmer girl. I really like all matte colors and now they have a 350 matte palette and I should have got that one. But I really do like this palette. I have used it. I've used it on the eye that I have on today. I don't know if you can tell if it's showing up, but I did use it today for my makeup for this video. So yeah, I did get that palette. As well as I did pick up a new foundation. Because if you know, I love the CoverGirl 3 in 1 foundation. And I picked up um at my Walmart now that I moved. I don't um live where I used to live at. I live in a whole new state. They don't they don't sell uh covergirl. They only sell like Milani. So I picked up the Milani um Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation and the number 13, which is chestnut. I'm wearing that foundation today. I really do like it. It's a nice, um, I would say it looked like a full coverage foundation. I think it's buildable. I don't really wear foundation like that, so. I'm not a foundation girl, but I am a lipstick girl. And as you know, I love this brand of lipstick and it is ColourPop. And I have purchased a lot of lipsticks from them. But um, before I get with ColourPop, I did purchase the NYX Lingerie um, Lipstick. And this is the color, what color is it? It's called Beauty Mark. It's like a chocolate brown Um lip color it is a beautiful color i will swatch it on my hands for you guys it is a beautiful chocolate brown color and i love this color so if i want to go have a brown lip i put this on and it was like 6.99 at um ulta i wanted another one but it was all sold out but yeah i got beauty mark from nyx now on to ColourPop. So I did pick up some of their lippy sticks. I picked up five of their lippy sticks. And I'm wearing one of their lippy sticks now. And it is in the color Goldie. This is their new one. Um, it is a matte color. I have it on right now. It's called Goldie. If I can get the tops off of these. Woo! Yeah, it's called Goldie, and this is how it looks right here. It is a beautiful um, red, like a deep red color. Also, I picked up LBB, and this is a matte color as well. And this is how LBB looks. It's like a fuchsia color, like a deep burgundy color. As well as I picked up Grunge, and this is a matte color. As you know, I love a nude lip, so this is a beautiful nude for a dark skinned woman as well as I picked up Ziggy which is a matte color but it has um it's like a orangey color it's like an orangey brown color it's, it comes off more orange on my skin tone I will do a video I'm swatching all these um swatching all of the ColourPop lipsticks I mean ColourPop 
lipsticks that I've shown you in this video. So stay tuned for that video. As well as I picked up Daydream. And Daydream is another matte color that I love. I did wear it. And it's beautiful on my lips. So as well as for the lipsticks. Those are all the lipsticks. I did pick up some liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. This is their new one. And it's called Embellish. It's like a chocolate brown. And I love the packaging because it is frosted. It's very different from this packaging. So as you can tell, it's two different packaging. Two different packaging. Yeah, packages. Um, this one is called Love Bug. And most of these, um, most of the ColourPop lipsticks that I'm showing you are from their fall edit line or from their fall collection. So they just came out with them like a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. So that's Love Bug. And this one is Notion. And the last one is called Hunch. And this one is a satin lip. Now the other three um, that I showed you are Ultra Matte. And this one is a satin. And so these are the colors that I picked up from ColourPop. And as you know, I'm a ColourPop fanatic. I love ColourPop. I already have 20 lipsticks already from ColourPop. And I'm still buying more because I just can't get enough. And they are so affordable. Like the lipsticks are $5. And they're, um, what do you call it? The lipsticks are $6. And if you spend $30 or more, you get free shipping. Sometimes they have sales where you don't have to pay if sometimes they have sales and sometimes they have free shipping and you don't have to spend over thirty dollars so that's how I got these when they had the sale when you didn't have to spend over thirty dollars they just gave you free shipping I think it was for their holiday so you know for their hot they had I think it was for a week when they had the holiday thing going on yeah but that is all of the things that I purchased in this haul um, I will like I said I will do a detailed review on the True Products, Beautiful by Made True Products. So I will do a detailed review, showing you how I use these products, giving you a detailed review and how I like the products, how it works on my, how it works on my hair, on my type four hair. As well as I will be doing a swatch review on the color pops for you guys. So stay tuned for both of those videos. And as always, I love you for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you want. Um, any videos on any of the products that I showed you or if you want to ask me any questions please leave those in the comment section please like this video please share the video and I will see you in the next one guys bye